Hi there, I'm Natasha Calzati from Sammy's Photo School and today I'd like to show you a quick tip on using the radial gradient mask in Capture One. In the next two minutes I would like to show you a quick way to utilize the radial gradient mask in Capture One. If you are new to Capture One, check out my online Capture One classes coming up. The link is down below. Let's get started. Here are a few quick ways how we can work with the radial gradient tool in Capture One. The radial gradient tool is inside the layers palette right over here. If I hover over it, I will get a quick little tip view of it. You can click on it or you can press on the letter T and the letter T will get you there very quickly. So now that I'm on the radial filter, um, let's say I want to create my own custom uh, vignette. I can click and hold and drag and I will get some kind of a radial shape. You see it's not constrained in any way so I can move it around any way I want. Now I don't see where it's actually applying this radial uh, gradient, so I'm going to press on the letter M to show off my mask. So I actually don't want to affect the inside of these little baby bisons. I want to affect everything on the outside. So here's a quick and easy way to do so. Click hold, drag it out, up, and it's switched over. Now that it's switched over, you can still grab your little points and drag them in or out. Notice both sides are moving. I will hold my Option Alt key. Now I can just move one side if I want to or just the other side. And I can go ahead and go into, uh, I'll press on the letter M once again so I don't have to see the red mask. And then I will go into my curve, which is right here, I'll pull it out and I will choose my Luma curve and just bring it down a little bit, not too much, but just bring it down a little bit. And so therefore the point of view is on the baby bison. Leave a comment down below. Let us know if this was helpful. Give us a thumbs up, ring the bell, subscribe to our channel, and I will see you next time. Hey, I hope this was helpful uh, in understanding the radial graduated mask in Capture One. And if you'd like to learn more about Capture One, check out my online classes. The link is down below. And give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment. Um, let us know what other quick tips you would like to see in the future. And thanks for watching. See you next time.